Hello, everybody. This is Mike Pucciarelli, you know, the creator of Still Life and Landscape of Mike Pucciarelli YouTube channel. And in today's short webinar, I'll be talking about the basic tools I use for indoor light painting. And I'll talk a little bit about, you know, light painting a car and a motorcycle. So we have a lot to cover. So I'm really excited to get, start, get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the still life table. And they come in many ways. This should be it's great for folk, you know, light painting like a bottle of wine. You can also put like a board on cross or you know black plexus like a sheet or a white plexus sheet. This is a very tall still life table if you want to use a high angle to table back here. This is a chair, used to be a chair. The arms are coming off where I sawed off the arms and now this is a stool. So I can put any type of board I like. So this is a sturdy table. be sort of like a table. You can put like a board, you can sit on it. So there's many ways you can use this. And it used to be an office chair, but the arms are loose, so I decided to keep this and throw away the arms. These two tables you know, this is for if you're a light pan at a low angle, if you're a light pan at a high angle, and this and this and the skinny one are both you know, made from bookshelves that were falling apart. So I went to Home Depot and I bought some L brackets and I bought some wood screws and I screwed it together and I put some cone up brown paint on. It. So it was a nice round bridge, you know color. This is a scrim, and this scrim it comes in this. I'm just going to use this. Well, there's other photography that can use this in different ways. And so these are just spring clamps, and these are impact super clamps and it's holding this so if you don't let it paint the top it'll soften the light this is if you want a light paint at an angle you want to use a scrim it's a 45 degree angle you can lower it you can change the angle. I'm now going to take this apart. So, you know, these are spring clamps, which hold it onto the Manfrotto boom. This Manfrotto boom can fit in any you know, standard stand. This is like a brown board, it's a nice shelf wood, you can buy this at any major hardware store. And some, most of the time it's a dark color, but this, these different colors. If 
And so now we're going to talk about our LED flashlights. Where? See how harsh the light is? Put the filter on. See how less harsh it is. That's why you always want a light pan with a filter. You can use, you use different lights for different tech, you know, types of subjects. And this is the Eagle Tech with the Harold Ross adapter. This adapter could fit on other, you know, LED lights too. You have to just adjust the screw. But I have a, you know, a left and a right. So if I want to change the angle, I change the filter. So. First thing you do is the light paint. Light paint the subject with a lead flashlight. You want to just circular motion. You want to get some shadow detail, but you are painting light, but you're painting light to bring out the subject. You want to be at a 45 degree angle. And if you need to change, need to change the angle, you just change the filter. So you light every subject, you work at one subject at a time. So the first thing you do is you light the subject with a LED flashlight. And the second thing you light paint is a top light. This is the YN216, so there's 216 LED lamps. I had to buy the battery separately. It could also operate on six AA batteries. You want to make sure, you, if you light paint indoors, you want to always put light paint with the scrim. And I always have the power at max. I recommend you also could put the clear filter on to smooth, make the light even smoother. This is a nan light where you can use indoors like this. This is a top light, but if you want to light paint a car, like if you want to light paint a motorcycle, this is good for the gears. It's also good where you don't even have to use a stand. You can just take it off. I'll leave it on. This is a wheel of a car. You just go in circular motion. You want to paint some light, but you also want to get some character in the in the texture of the tire or the hubcap. And the battery comes with this, and it comes with the charger. This is called the Savage Light where you turn it on. So again, and I think this, I'm using just a regular stand. It's just extended as an impact stand. This is good for 
by painting the top. Or if you're light painting a car or like a motorcycle, this is good for getting the gears, the pipes. This is also good for getting like the tire of a car. You can also put this in, you know, the interior of the car. The battery comes and also comes with the, with the charger. So, so I'd recommend that you know you use the battery. And then the second thing you like, the third thing you like paint is you're gonna do like a front fill light. You do a little bit of top, but then you want to go here. So with all the lights I've just showed you, if you want a light paint at a 40 degree angle. It'd be good to have the scrim at the same angle. So the last thing we like paint is the background. So this is just a regular impact stand. So, you know, so do the corner, the center, and the other corner. So the light's even. This is a very powerful light, so you want to do it quickly. And I always want to have it open, and I always want to have 100%, I want to have a light bounced at, you know, 56K. So another way to use this light is that if the light bounds at 50, 60, 100%, I have white paper here, like good print paper. This makes the light softer and bigger. This is good for light painting a car. You make sure you do the car, or you want to make sure you do the top of a motorcycle. Again, you can make it, you know, bigger. So this for a car. And you can also maybe, but since we're indoors, of course you want to have the screw in front of the light. And you want to paint her on the side at a 40 degree angle. We want to have that scrim at a 40 degree angle on that um, stand that I demonstrated before. I'll turn this off. So the background is, you know, foam board you can buy at an art store, either at one eighth or a quarter inch thick. I like to use a brown color. You can also use like stands like this. You could use spring clamps to attach it to poles. I'm going to take this down. Turn the camera and the camera settings. I'm 
I'm at bold, aperture 16, you always use ISO 100. And then, you know, you want to start with a pre-focus and then go to manual. And I always set the Kelvin to 5600K. And I'm always shooting a RAW. I just use a JPEG if I want to use the Wi-Fi. So what I could do. I'm going to frame my shot. With your pre-focus, I'm going to put it in manual. I'm going to turn off the camera. All right, and you want to make sure that you don't move the camera. So we'll turn it on again. Turn this on. Make sure that you're using the bulb setting. And then what I would do is I either get a gray card or a checkered, you know, color coordinator correction. And I would you know, set the white balance. So I do a gray car measurement for, I don't know, five seconds. And I'm also doing this in the dark. I'm just doing this light so you can see what I'm doing. And then you do the same measurement without the gray car. So then, when you do plank exposures, Then I would just, you know, I choose a few LED lights. And I do light paints, and I would just use this. So I'm not touching the camera. I'm not using cable release. And so I just recommend maybe a light for the subject, and then a soft light for the fill light, maybe a soft light for maybe the background. So one to three lights at most. You don't want to touch the camera when you do this. That's why you got this. So thank you for listening to this webinar on how I do light painting. Um, it's my joy to give this. It's my joy to help as many people as I can. So my name is Michael Pucciarelli, creator of Still Life for Landscape of Michael Pucciarelli. And featured on landscape photography, still life of white plexiglass, black plexiglass, and light painting. Now I use Adobe Photoshop and equipment, then maybe like and subscribe to my channel, Still Life and Landscape Michael Petrelli. Thank you for listening to this webinar.